Hi there lovely people, what's going on? Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh, 3 p.m. here. I am going to do three reviews for you. Hopefully I can get them done. Hopefully there is no uh, power uh, failure. Uh, currently in Bangladesh, uh, the government is imposing every day, one to two hours, everywhere, you know, every day, seven days a week, power failure in uh, different time zone, like uh, different area. So hopefully I can finish these reviews before that. Uh, and it's very hot and humid. You know, I have not been well for the last few days again. Is the weather is just very sickening i'm pretty sure worldwide you are seeing some warm weather and uh, stay safe keep drinking plenty of water so i have three fragrances as i promised you uh, one niche and a couple of them are middle eastern fragrances so i'll start with the fragrance uh, this is called uh, luxodor perfumes lullaby okay i haven't seen any review on this one very beautiful box here and uh, you guys know i have reviewed i think three to four luxodor perfumes and they all have been really really good like loyal agar Royal Agar, uh, one of them. So uh, they have quite a few prints, uh, like, you know, I, I don't remember all of their names, but so far the Bleu de Chanel clone was very good. Shogun was very good. So this is perhaps my third or fourth, like fourth or fifth review. So this was sent to me by Luxor Perfumes itself and also Fragrantica Bangladesh. I wanted to pay for this. You know, I really wanted it. I saw the post on Fragrantica Bangladesh page. I'll leave a link below. You can buy from them in Bangladesh. And also I think in Middle Eastern countries they can send. So they are actually a page. So I actually wanted to pay this because I uh, saw the bottle. I knew it's going to be, I love something that's blue. You know, you know my power of blue. <laughs> so here is the bottle. I'll show you in a bit. And this actually very, I knew, you know, whenever I have a, like a feeling, you know, there's going to be a good fragrance, you know, usually they are, you know, it's just an instinct. That's all. So this is how the box looks. The perfume concentration, it's really something that you should take note. Uh, this is quite long lasting. The side looks very nice design. The packaging is basically like paper cardboard, but I'll show you something that's uh, different, okay? They put these seals, okay? And the seals are for making sure that the bottle was never opened, you know, like or the box was never opened rather. If you do not, uh, if you open it like this, the seal would be broken. So if you see the seal is already broken, it has been opened before to spray or something. So always make sure <clears throat> you see the seal is intact. You know, it should look like intact here, okay? Really nice holographic sticker. And the nice thing is they give notes pyramid I have no clue about this. I have uh, no notes breakdown from Fragrantica. So <clears throat> let me read the notes breakdown, then I'll show you the bottle. The top is plum and jasmine. Middle notes are lemon verbena and galbanum. Base notes are virginian cedar, patchouli and white musk. Okay, those are the things uh, enlisted there. I think this is made in UAE. Uh, production date was uh, December 2021. So it's a 2021 release. Uh, very almost, you can say brand new. Uh, and actually thing is that I'm going to be drinking some tea because uh, here, lemon tea, absolute love, lemon and honey, best combination if you have a little bit of a sore throat. And you'll be wondering why people in Bangladesh, our country, Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, we drink a lot of tea, even if it's hot weather. It's just our thing, you know, we love tea, you know. And the thing is, I'll tell you one thing sad. Uh, during my sickness one month, I was very, very sick last month or so. That time I was taking a lot of... Uh, antibiotics and for sleeping I was drinking some like this very powerful sort of a cough syrup so they put you to sleep nowadays I cannot really sleep without those things you know I drink once in a while it's a bad habit not good for kidneys but uh, my sl sleeping pattern you know due to the load shedding and all very very difficult you know nowadays sleeping getting a solid sleep very difficult six hours straight so anyway coming back to the bottle so I'm talking a bit too much here is a beautiful bottle and uh, thanks once again Fragrantica and uh, Luxodor very nice of you uh, for reviewers like us, if you if we get a bottle like this, we don't have to pay. I bought like four bottles from them. This was a gift. And I will review one more after this. This is going to be uh, Rave Now, which is reviewed only once. And this one, I think, has no review. So it always helps me to do this work. Okay, So I always am thankful whoever sent me a free bottle. But the review is always mine. So really nice bottle, blue bottle, very beautiful. You can see blue, blue, it matches. So my favorite color is blue. The name and the design there, and the cap. One thing I actually would prefer if they had the old uh, magnetic caps. These are not magnetic. These are like things snuck fit or click on. No problem. You know, I mean, I don't have any problem with it. But I think to save a little bit cost, they took out the magnetic tops. It's okay. Fine. No problem. So base, you get the sticker. So I've been wearing this in my hand. Uh, not this hand. Yeah, this hand, you know. Uh, it just made me smile instantly because I love this. So I'm actually wearing this other one for the scent of the afternoon. Uh, this is Latafa. I think Latafa now <laughs> uh latafa now a rave but that one is in my left hand for reviewing i'll review that second so this one first of all i saw the ad in fragmentica bangladesh page where they describe this as a 
lemony citrusy kind of a perfume and immediately citrus lemon this kind of weather it's always working like a charm but i asked the owner uh, brother is this a clone of something because they are making everything is a dupe of something he said i'm not sure but it has a citrusy lemony very nice opening and uh, the company actually wants you to review this so very very nice of them very nice so kind so i would say this thing first of all i told you the nose breakdown let me show you the spray spray is okay you know not bad uh, it's like not my favorite kind of spray. It's like pss, pss, like small small bursts, like one 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 like that. It doesn't have a continuous spray. A bigger spray would be nice, but this kind of uh, spray it's okay. So they have the detailing there. So first of all, the open initia blast. How many sprays? I would say first of all, the power power of this fragrance wise, I actually am getting quite decent longevity. Uh, this has easily in my high heat six to seven hours. Okay. Six to seven hours means <clears throat> equivalent uh, equivalent to your ten to twelve if you have good uh, weather condition. Like if you don't have so much humidity or pollution, this fragrance actually would last much longer. So I'm getting like six to seven. So I'm gonna say that this is a very solid longevity uh, projection wise. I'm getting projection for two and a half hours. First one hour is very strong. The opening citrusy really that those vibes really gives out like a nice little projection. But after that the second hour and then half like. Uh, you can still smell it even if your arm is far because it's uh, warm so skin warms up if you sweat a little bit you know it mixes with that bodily you know like uh, fluid not body fluid the sweat and then it, you just immediately get wafts of it and you'll be like hmm that smells nice it's different so basically uh, let me tell you how this smells i don't think it's personally i have smelled anything like it when i smell this i cannot say it's a pinpoint clone of anything or it's a clone of anything that makes me really happy every single thing i'm reviewing like the next one even it smells similar to something but I always want something unique and nice. It's a very hard thing to come by nowadays. So this actually does not remind me of anything. Perhaps it's a niche perfumes clone, maybe something a bit more uh, exclusive clone, but thankfully I never smelled it. Maybe something from Boadisi or something like that. I'm not, I'm just guessing because I haven't seen any comparison to this. So what I get from this, as they say in the box, uh, plum and jasmine. So I get that opening citrus right from the beginning. There's a bergamot, a lemon verbena, there's something like it. So it's a sort of like a citrusy opening. It's a very citrusy and uh, the floral, the jasmine, I'm not getting super jasmine-y sort of like a feminine vibe. It doesn't have a, it's a very masculine fragrance, you know, like it's very handsome in a same way Elysium is built or Bleu de Chanel is built. It's, it's like the same uh, way it's built. It's very masculine. It, it, there's no way I can say the same unisex fragrance, but whoever want, they can wear. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, after that, the citrus and the plum. The plum is very interesting here because the plum doesn't smell like a very plum sort of fragrance, which I have few fragrances with my other plum based fragrance. I'm sorry, my room is a mess. <laughs> uh, Lacoste Purum. This one is one of my favorite plum based perfumes, but that one smells very sweet. This one right here, it's, it's a perfect combination. Something like the way Amiri is built, Arabian Oud, you know, like pink peppercorn, a little bit of a citrus, then Ambroxan. And it's very fresh yet spicy and woody aromatic. This one is almost the same. Uh, I would say minus the ambroxan. This one I don't feel there's ambroxan. But it's such a nice stunning floral. You know like this is the kind of fragrance you wear at parties or somewhere like very high class occasion or anywhere formal with a suit. And people when you pass them, pass by them, they will actually get wafts of you and they will really appreciate this kind of fragrance. It's very high class. Very high class doesn't smell like a $20 cologne. Okay, honestly speaking, this fragrance smells... Uh, if you ask me how much someone would imagine, somewhat like 80, 85 bucks, okay, that rich. So Luxor Lullaby, you know, the name I really like. And I don't really personally feel this is a bedtime fragrance, but when you wear it, it smells very posh, elegant, and uh, smells really nice, okay. I love the blue bottle. I love the aspect of the presentation, but I don't really find so much of aquatic in it, okay. But... You can imagine something you wear at night time, where you wear Bleu de Chanel. I'm just always going back to Bleu de Chanel because it's my favorite perfume. It's not a clone of that, but where, whenever you wear Bleu de Chanel, there's the same time you wear this one, Lullaby. So I find this one particularly great for summer nights. Even you can wear this fall, winter, all year round, but uh, watch the number of sprays. Do not bathe in it, like do not spray six. I think three to four would be ideal. So Lullaby, excellent, excellent fragrance. The very base, you'll get some cedar or something woody aspect. And the fragrance <coughs> changes over time. That's the most interesting thing. So you'll enjoy all these uh, phases. Uh, downside of this fragrance, perhaps uh, when you see this kind of uh, presentation, the people who are niche heads, like they are buying Amouage, they will not find these bottles very elegant. They look actually 
pretty much you know if you see from far it looks like a bit uh, affordable kind of budget perfume something you see in Victoria's Secret like those uh, body mist and stuff but this is glass okay one thing second thing is these fragrances are uh, not uh, perhaps like when you are used to like again the niche heads like those people who are used to extremely supreme as I mentioned Amiri or something do not hold your expectation like that in this okay this one cannot hold the candles against those okay those are like top of the line super oily this one even the perfume concentration you get six to seven hours you pay a very good budget i think this is 20 25 bucks that's about it okay uh, so 100 ml i would say this is more win than loss so this criticism i'm just giving to keep things fair check it out lullaby is a beautiful fragrance unique fragrance to my nose if you're used to designer perfumes you'll enjoy this and sometimes it feels like elizabeth arden green tea a little bit of the relaxation you know like so it has a tea sort of a vibe as well Beautiful fragrance. This is Lullaby by Luxorer. I'm giving this a 9 out of 10 for the smell. Beautiful fragrance. Okay. Thank you so much, Fragrantica. Thank you so much, uh, <coughs> Luxorer Perfume, for sending this my way. Time for a second review. Take care.